Welcome to lecture 7. In this video, we will evaluate the new classifier. Remember that in our HTML file, we defined an upload button to classify a new image. When a new image is chosen, it calls the predict classifier method in BarryNet that we will write next. The result will be shown in an element close by. In BarryNet.js, we create a new method called predict classifier. It first asks the mobile net using net.infer the results from the pre-trained model. We get this list of numbers. We then ask the classifier to predict based on this list of number the class that it belongs to. The result will be a prediction of the ripeness of the strawberry. And again here we return the results so we can put it in an element. To test if it works, we first upload one of our training images, in this case from the near ripe folder. And indeed, our new classifier predicts with a probability of about 67% that the image contains a near ripe strawberry. If we do the same with our example strawberry image, remember this is not part of the training set, it indeed identifies the strawberry on this image as being ripe. However, if we try the second example image, which is also not part of the training set, we find that our new classifier is still unsure about the ripeness state of these strawberries. With equal probability, it sees it as a flower, as immature, and as unripe. This is not really strange because the image indeed contains both unripe and immature strawberries. In general, it is best practice to also create a large test set which is labeled next to the training set, so that we can properly evaluate if the image classifier that we trained only works on the training image set or also on new images. I leave that up to you, so go find some strawberries and create a test set.